Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to look at the HK Griff bag that was recently added to the HK web shop. A lot of things kind of come and go from the web shop if you've ever looked at it. This is one of the newer arrivals and it's a pretty nice bag so I'll give you guys a look at it if you're wondering if it's worth the money or you're thinking about picking it up. Hopefully this will be informative. From the exterior in, so you see you've got plenty of compartments, latches, hooks, webbing, uh, Velcro, kind of the works along the outside. You've got a nice embroidered HK logo in there. If you look at this webbing on the back, I can only assume that this is meant to, you know, hold magazines. The old uh, Glock bags had this. I will say that's pretty much the only mag that fits fairly snug. This 9mm one is just a little too, a little too loose. An MP5 mag kind of fits in there. It's just not quite snug enough for my liking, so I really wouldn't use those for anything. Looking at this back pocket here, it's not the biggest pocket. You can see kind of where your range is to put stuff. I've just kind of got some business cards in there. Not really gonna, you could put some ear, ear eyes and ears maybe in there. If you're using just earplugs, you could drop them in there. Um, I kind of bought this specifically not to use it as a range bag. Kind of show you some features that I like as we go along. But these zippers are really nice zippers. They uh, have real thick teeth. They're, they look like they're real durable. I, I'm assuming they're the YKK zippers. If we take a closer look, you'll see what I'm talking about. These are just really nice, thick, sturdy zippers. You can see the stitching in here is all top notch across the whole bag. I couldn't find anything on this bag that looked cheap. So if we look in this first outside compartment, I kind of just grabbed some odds and ends things to put in here, but you know, you can put a XLR cable on the inside here. You see you've got some more elastic webbing to put tools or whatever you want in there. You've got some pockets along here to put things in. This is all Velcro. Um, you got a plastic little hook here to put whatever. Um, you'll notice on the side here, there's clips for you to cinch the bag, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're not going to have this thing, you know, fully loaded, then you can uh, cinch it up to make it a little more, a little thinner, I guess. So that's kind of the outside. So if we look at it from the side here, you'll see we've actually got one, uh, two other compartments here. Looking at it, uh, the next layer, I guess. We unzip this. I just put a DSLR in here, but you see you've got a decent amount of space in there. This is all Velcroed here. Uh, the material, this is actually, it's just nylon, but it's 1000 rated nylon. Um, on the 511 Tacticals, which are meant to carry, you know, a lot of weight. They're using a 1050 rating. So this probably isn't going to be as strong as those, but nonetheless, the, uh, the quality is still there. So if we look at the main compartment here closest to your back, it doesn't unzip all the way. You see it stops here and there's a reason for that. You've got a, a pouch inside here that I'm just, just grabbed a laptop charger to put in there. Um, and then down inside here, I just put a drill and a multimeter. Like I said, if you uncinch it, you've actually got a decent amount of storage space in here. Down inside here is a flap for a laptop, so, so you can hold it down in place. There's a thin layer of padding here, not like you would traditionally see in, in a laptop bag. Okay, so something I wanted to show you in the rearmost compartment of this bag. If we look down in the corners here, it's hard to get on camera because this is black on black, but you see this flap of Velcro here, both sides of it. This actually serves a purpose because when it's open, and this Velcro is very, very difficult to get open and shut. Um, the hardest Velcro I've ever used. And uh, if we take a look at the, the side pouch here, you'll see this there's this elastic opening. Now what I did was open up that Velcro. You can see it in here. 
and this kind of gives you just fast access into the bag. If we look at this picture that HK is using to advertise this, it's portraying it as fast access into the bag if you were to conceal a handgun. I was skeptical about this before I got it. When I looked at it online, I was like, well, that's kind of cool actually. You know, it would be nice to have a bag that I can do that. But then when I started looking at this, I was like, you know, it doesn't really seem like you would be able to get in and out of that. So we'll take a full size USP here. And uh, it's harder to get stuff in this way than it is to get it out. But you'll see this does a decent job of, you know, keeping it closed. I mean, if you really want it shut, shut, you put the Velcro shut. But, you know, if you wanted to reach in here, you can actually grab it pretty quick. I was surprised because initially when I saw this, I was like, oh, there's no way you can get anything in and out of there. But like I said, it's easier to get something out than it is to put it in. If you were to reach all the way across your body to get it out, I think it would be difficult. So if you kind of put it in upside down and used, you know, your closest arm to just reach back there, um, it's still doable. So kind of a neat feature and it's on both the left and right side of the bags. Moving on to the back of the bag, nothing too special here. You've got some decent uh, straps here. They've got a little bit of padding on them. Uh, not the best, but nonetheless, it's still present. The back, same thing. It's a nice breathable uh, foamy material. It's not a gel material that you'll find on some of them, but it's still nice. You can cinch it together here between and then this is adjustable up and down. Looks like you could put some type of Molly attachments on the uh, straps there. And like I said, nothing on this bag is, is cheap. I looked this over pretty thoroughly. You've got a nice carry handle here with some really good stitching on it. I compared this to one of the 511 Tactical Rush bags and I compared the stitching, the zippers, anything and everything I could between these two bags. The only thing I could find that was just a little bit thinner was the material itself. Other portions, construction of the bag are, are top notch. Something to consider with this, HK was originally advertising this as made by Tactical Tailor. If you're into bags and gun cases and stuff like that, they're one of the best names in the business, which was the initial reason I bought it. Uh, while it was in shipping, I realized that it wasn't actually made by Tactical Tailor. It was made by, I think it's called Grey Ghost Inc. Doing a little bit of research, it seems that that is like a subsidiary of Tactical Tailor. Based on the construction and what I looked at on this bag, I don't feel that it's in any way inferior. $100 seems like a fair price for it, and um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.